Hey, how are you doing here, folks? Um, I'm down here at 101 Market Street. Uh, we've just had about 60 uh, riot-equipped officers who are coming down here. Um, they did not give a notice to disperse, and uh, now they're all out here. You can see them. They're all here with nightsticks. So uh, get on the horn. Come down here. Let everybody know what's going on. Uh, they just sort of moved in. They thought they were all slick. And I saw your van sitting out there on the corner just watching. But uh, that's all right. So I just let everybody know out there in Internet land what's going on here in San Francisco. And just to show you, San Francisco Police Department is, this might be good old liberal San Francisco, but the banksters do control everything that goes on here, just like they do in New York, Washington, or any other major city that I've visited in the last few months. So, we're out here, tweet your friends, and let them know what's going on, that there are a uh, possible chance of arrests, and uh, the occupiers themselves are completely nonviolent. They are not resisting. They are not running. They are peaceful. So there should be no need for violence here tonight. And I'm going to make sure that that happens. And I was down here visiting. I spoke around uh, at Schroeder's restaurant tonight about one year of Occupy and and the significant gains that we've made around the country. Please don't yell at the police. You don't make the situation any better. They're not your enemy. And if you're here, uh, if people are here, I advise them to relax. Uh, do not resist. And we're down here at 101 Market at the Federal Reserve Building here in beautiful San Francisco in the Financial District. This is Freeman Sullivan. And if you want to tweet me, uh, you can tweet me at Freeman Sullivan. My email is freemansullivan at gmail.com. And if you uh, need to get a hold of me and you need a live streamer at your event, let me know. I'm just wondering if I should call my lawyer up now and have him come down here. Because uh, this is bullshit. Hey, does anybody have like a cell phone that I can call my lawyer with? Because I want to stay on the live stream. I gotta buy a burner phone. I guess they're taking their orders directly from the San Francisco Chronicle nowadays. <clears throat> anyway, I think I'm gonna move around here and make sure that. Uh... Excuse me. Um, am I allowed to just leave? Uh, we were never given an order to disperse, officer. Now we're living in, uh, we do uh, live in a police state, folks, and uh, well, I'm pretty sure you're aware of it. So uh, there's really not a whole lot we're going to do right now. Um, basically, there's really nothing much that they can uh, arrest you for anyway. I think it's what, public lodging? Or something like that? So. Trust me, dudes, it's going to be more trouble than it's worth. Is there a sergeant we can speak with? We are the citizens' journalists. Back yeah, it doesn't matter. You'll be out of first, you'll be out of jail by six o'clock in the morning anyway. Trust me on that one. As long as you don't have any warrants. I'm pretty sure the order to move in on here didn't come from any of these police officers. Anyway, I'm going to go down. Hey, I'm sorry this has to happen tonight, because I know you guys got something better to do. I know I do. <laughs> I just came down here to visit. Anyway, I'm going to walk around here and show you that everybody's peaceful and calm. Right. Don't, you know, don't do anything that you can get your ass kicked for. Just be uh, calm and nonviolent. 
All right, stay peaceful and calm, everybody. Anyway, I guess we've got about 80 cops, maybe 100. That doesn't matter. Dude, they're going to let you go before an hour anyway, okay? Yeah, sure. Anyway, uh, if anybody out there could call my lawyer up, uh, my lawyer is Patrick Godden, and his number is 415-312-0084. Please call him for me and let him know that I have a good chance that I'm arrested and that uh, uh, I'm going to need his help tonight. And uh, let's see, we got all the, uh, the various and sundry homeland. Hey, you guys with Homeland Security? Yeah, they're fucking federal cops. Yeah, I'll make sure we get their picture up here for everybody out there in TV land. So we got Homeland Security and San Francisco Police Department and probably some assorted uh, cops from Federal Reserve. Why are you detaining us? What are, what are You are murdering! Who the dead? There will be accountability for these crimes Anyway, we got the police in here and they're destroying the camp. Um, yeah, you can see quite clearly they're here to destroy the camp and the Occupy. And there's no tents. There's nobody sleeping down here. And they're making an arrest here. Mom is dragging mom out. Yeah, they're dragging her out. They're dragging mom out. For legally protesting. Legally protesting. She wasn't breaking the law. 
Is it people locking? You're not going to need that gun. Does it make you feel like a like safer carrying a gun like that? Under arrest. Just to let everybody know I'm not uh, not fighting, I'm not making any comments or anything like that. So But the police are out here, they do have that looks like a uh, what is rubber bullets? And they're just here destroying our property willy nilly. I just came here. To, I was visiting. I was visiting here today, and uh, yeah, I was. Uh, I just came down here. I just. Uh, I gave a lecture right around the corner here, and uh, I was just stopped down here to say hi to everybody. I haven't seen you in a while. Yeah, you know, I've been out of town. I went to New York, and I was in D.C. And, yeah. 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 There's plenty of shit going on, man. Well, first of all, this, for one thing, we're, we're, I'm not. Just don't get near these cops because they're just looking for an excuse to kick your ass, you know. Right. And if you're gonna arrest us, let's do it. You know? Anyway, I got the tweets going, so the world knows. And I've actually got some viewers now. Woo! Pretty quick. Anyway, I'm going to back up from the police department a little bit. It would help if you informed us of what you intend to do so that people can adapt and try and be under the least resistance. It's more over here. Why is this in New York? And you guys carry way more shit than they do. This is what's called a kettle when you're surrounded. Oh, by the way, if anybody's watching out there, uh, call my attorney, Patrick Goggin, G O G G I N, 415 312 0084. And let them know I'm live streaming down here, and uh, I was visiting to do some live streaming actually. And the police came and raided just a few minutes ago. They got about 80 cops here, and I think they're probably going to arrest everybody that's here. Looks like it anyway. So uh, I guess I picked the right time to be down here, folks. And don't worry about me. I'll be all right. I don't really have any warrants or charges, or you know. And if I do get arrested, um, you best bet I'm going to make a federal case about it. <laughs> One out. One out. One out. One out. Yeah, I've got people watching. No, I'm not a resident here. Am I going to get arrested? Like, uh, I just came down here for a visit. Anyway, whatever I can do to cooperate with you gentlemen, let me know, okay? Because our protest allows uh, and tries to serve the community, you know, by giving them security and basic resources, food and comfort. Oh, uh, Taylor, I don't have a light on here. I don't want to put it out. I'll put it out because it runs my battery too quick. I'm trying to get as close as I can. Uh, hey, uh, Amazon, make sure you call my lawyer up, okay? We're in San Francisco. The number is 415 312 Double zero eighty four. Uh, Patrick Goggin, he'll come down here. Um, he's in the city. So I'm probably not going to be charged with anything, but uh, just to make sure. Um, nobody's yelling and screaming. Uh, Cindy Lewis. Uh, but yeah, make sure somebody out there calls my attorney. But the cops are armed for bear. 
And there's definitely nobody down here that's violent. It's kind of like overkill. But we're here at 101 Market Street here in the Federal Reserve in San Francisco. And police have been ordered to come in and camp again. I'm actually glad that I'm down here to get to get this uh, on live stream. Uh, please tweet it out and let everybody know what's going on here. I know my tag is wrong, but I'm not going to sit here typing it out. But the San Francisco police, there was an article in the Chronicle. Uh, I was out of town in New York, and then I got back here, and somebody told me about it. And uh, at any rate. And to our right, we got we got some federal police. I mean, you really must think that that Occupy is uh, this great like insurrectionary movement or something like that. Because I swear, I've been going to demonstrations in San Francisco, thirty years, and covering them and writing about them, and uh, I've never seen such a heavy-handed police department presence as I have here with Occupy. Even in New York, I was at New York on uh, Monday, September 17th for the first anniversary of Wall Street. And the police in New York were nowhere near as heavily equipped as police here in San Francisco. So I'm going to try and stay back and I'm going to try not to get arrested here for as long as possible so we can bring you pictures. So if they decide they want to arrest me, I guess it's up to them. They're, they're kind of wasting the city's money though because I got a clean record and everything. So I wish I, could. I need a light here. I know I do. I know I need a light, but that's the way it goes. Let me see if I can turn it on through the. Uh, head back up here. Yeah, it's still drop the charges before you know it. So everyone, no matter how far we move back. Cool. Yeah, let me see the figure. Yeah, that's a good idea. Everyone's under arrest. We already stated that we came. Everyone's under arrest for what? Under arrest for uh, illegal lodging. You're next. So you can, if you want to give your video to somebody else, you can. Hey, uh, Ron. I want to keep fucking up. I got white. Yeah, I'll give you a cigarette. Anyway, we're being raided down here by the San Francisco Police Department. There was no uh, order to leave or anything. They just sort of came up here and just started moving in. Yeah, yeah, here. There you go. One for you. And one for you. Okay. I wish I had a better light out here for pictures, but they're out here breaking up everything. Nobody's resisting and nobody's violent. So, uh, this is Freeman Sullivan, your uh, adventurous live streamer. I so now I've done New York uh, actions, Washington, D.C., and here in San Francisco. And if somebody's out there, could you please contact my lawyer, Patrick Goggin. Uh, his number is 415-312-0084. Just let him know I'm here and I might be going to jail tonight. <clears throat> yeah, I was just down here visiting... Uh, I just done light I did a short lecture at uh, Schroeder's restaurant, and I uh, just turned around the corner and uh, come here and stop here for a couple of minutes and see how everybody was doing. And now all of a sudden the police department moved in. And, and uh, they probably, uh, I'm not sure what they're gonna do, but legalizing everybody gonna wind up going to going to prison. So everybody's under the arrest. Charge isn't gonna stick. You wind up gonna be let. Down. Was killed on it. Um, we've been through it before. Just be sure to show back up here, same time, same channel. Cause it ain't no over all your stuff. Um, they'll send it to DPW. We get a shot to go in and get it. Um, 
Where it is, DPW do you be jacking our shit. Other than that, fuck them. They're going to arrest us anyway. If I get a chance to go peacefully so my dog doesn't overreact, guys. Anyway, I'm wondering, um, hey, what do you people out there think? Do you think I should turn myself in or what? Yeah, 415-312-0084. not 82, 0084. All right, he's going to freak out. He has PTSD as well as me. There's about, I guess about 40 people down here that are getting arrested. All right, so we're going to take somebody's dog away here. Jeez, uh, talk about my timing. Yeah, like I said, I was just giving a lecture over Schroeder's about uh, the one-year anniversary of Wall Street. And I uh, came around here just to check on things and see how people were doing. And uh, lo and behold, uh, we get a... Uh, I guess there must not be any crime in San Francisco tonight. That's why they managed to call all these police officers out here. Anyway, I'm going to try to stay on as long as I can. Please let your friends know and to call City Hall, specifically Mayor, Mayor Ed Lee's office. And uh, now I hear a dog is like, you know, he's not too happy about it. Let everybody know what's going on down here. We are being raided. Everybody's going to be arrested, probably even me, but it won't be the first time. And they're actively taking pictures of me too, so whatever. And people have lost all their belongings. They're probably going to have a big garbage truck and it'll be dumpsterized. So do call my attorney for me. Thank you very much. I'm trying to bring you pictures here of live stream. So uh, I'm not able to get on my phone. I want to make sure uh, that the whole world sees this. And uh, let your friends and neighbors know. And retweet me, please. Uh, because I'm probably I'm going to be taken into custody. And uh, such as such. Man, I was doing good. I went over like 15 years without getting arrested. <laughs> so that just goes to show you that I don't know everything either, do I? Anyway, the city's been making a lot of noise about cleaning up this place and getting rid of everybody down here. So I guess it was only a matter of time. But yeah, do call up Ed Lee's office and let him know how unhappy you are. Let's go next. You will come on. I don't want that stuff put down. Come on, put on the I'm sick. I I Oh no, you got money? Hey, put that stuff in your pocket. Except for the pipe. I'm gonna put the ulcer in the pocket. I just want to go inside. This is it. Pipe, pick up your pipe. Change. Anyway, I know that uh, I can tell I'm being retweeted by my phone. Thank you. Thank you, all those people out here. We need your support. Uh, they're not going to answer you. The only guy that knows is, is Meehan right there. I guess he's the supervising officer. Now I'm going to just try and stay back here so I can keep live streaming for you. But definitely I don't want to run anybody over. Everybody's staying calm and peaceful, as you can see. Nobody's resisting. Please retreat this out to all your friends and neighbors. Let them know what's going on. They're taking my dog. I heard. So I might got cops behind me now, too. Now you might as well go ahead and turn yourself in, man. Right. Make it easier on yourself, too. Trust me. And just to let everybody know that's watching, is that we are being we are being raided by the San Francisco Police Department, and uh, I would get up closer, but I want to try and keep live streaming here for you, so uh, as long as I can. And uh, do let my attorney know that I'm possibly going to be arrested. And I was just down here visiting. I haven't been down here in at least uh, two or three months. And the one day I come down to visit, <laughs> oh, what luck, huh? I was having a great day too. And I was even in New York, and I was right up on the police department there. And I got to say that San Francisco police, they're armed for bear. I've never, I never saw anything like that in New York or Washington at Occupy. 
So uh, I know that uh, Homeland Security has been camping out down here at the Federal Reserve trying to figure out a way to get everybody to move. And uh, they probably, they're, you know, the old uh, conspiracy thing that is happening, uh, we do have paperwork to prove it, uh, that uh, there was a conference of mayors a few months ago where they met with Homeland Security and uh, come up with a plan of dealing with Occupy because evidently we're too successful. So, I know I'm tweeting out with the wrong tag, but I don't want to sit here clicking away on this stupid keyboard. So, uh, let everybody know what's going on. Uh, please call up the mayor's office and voice your displeasure and uh, let them know that you're uh, a supporter of the Occupy in San Francisco. Uh, I've been down here. All these people are peaceful, good people, believe in the political cause, and they're down here doing what they think is right for the United States. Uh, willing to risk their freedom, the loss of all their material possessions. Uh, it's not a pretty sight. I wish I could get the light out here to give you better pictures, but I think that that would just be a uh, provocative act on the part of my part. And I guess it's going to remind me I do need to go down and talk to Sergeant Andrea Chuck and get my freaking press pass so this doesn't happen again. So if you're watching, uh, I shouldn't be in jail too long. I don't have any warrants or anything, so. But please retreat me. I'm having problems posting to Twitter. So, uh, I'm having problems posting to Twitter, so please retreat. Please retweet it. Um, and also, please call my lawyer. Maybe one more time, because I see somebody's having a problem. Uh, Thank you, Barb Dwyer. Uh, please call 415-312-0084. My attorney's name is Patrick Goggin. And uh, see if he'll come down to the police station and bail me out. Thank you, Courtney. Uh, keep retweeting. And if you could, could you uh, call my lawyer? I'd really appreciate it. It's 415-312-0084. And if you can't call, just look it up. His name is Patrick, P-A-T-R-I-C-K, G-O-G-G-I-N. Anyway, there's about, um, I'm looking around here, there's probably about 35, 40 people, I think. Can I get one cigarette? Yeah, sure. Yep. I'm an innocent bystander. I went to Walgreens and bought some deodorant. And I was heading home on Muni. Mm -hmm. and the, uh, What's your name? Oh, I'm Calvin Taylor. Calvin Taylor? Yeah, okay. I was. I went to Walgreens and bought some I see that. Bought some deodorant, huh? Brand, <laughs> brand new deodorants. Bought some deodorants. Had dinner at the Embarcadero Center. Was heading home on Muni and um, got surrounded by these people. Yeah, it just sort of happened. It came out of nowhere, huh? Out of nowhere. Well, they were. I saw them sitting down there at the corner. They had a van that was like kind of scoping everybody out. Yeah. But I didn't think too much of it yeah, at the time. Yeah, there was no order. Hey, thanks a lot for leaving a message for me. I appreciate it. Yeah, you got it. Thanks a lot. It's, it's uh, Goggin, G-O-G-G-I-N. But somebody called. Uh, thanks for uh, calling my lawyer for me, man. Appreciate it. Yeah, I told him I was just down here visiting. I was lecturing earlier in the evening, and uh, I came down here to uh, stop by and see how everybody was doing. And knowing that uh, there was an article in San Francisco Chronicle about how this place was a basically a homeless shelter and needed to be cleaned up, so uh, I think we got the got the order from uh, from uh, Mayor Ed Lee. Uh, yeah, sure. Well, I'm not giving them all away, but no, you're not, you're not. I got money, dude. I'm, I'm totally cool. I didn't come down. I don't ever go anywhere broke. I said I don't ever go anywhere broke. Everything you work for is going to be pissed on the fucking
Thank you. Anyway, what's going on now? They're taking people in custody, and this video is live. I am shooting this live as it is up. So, yeah, Courtney, keep uh, keep retweeting me, please. That's okay, uh, the Amazon one. I appreciate your help. Right, we all need to stick together in the world here, and that's pretty much the only protection we have. And uh, uh, yeah, my name is Clark Sullivan. Yeah, I don't know if I'm going to get arrested or not, Trixie. Probably. That doesn't matter anyways. Thank you. Uh, has anybody here got any medical conditions? I have a, I have my, I have a ulcer. You probably should is. turn yourself in then, brother. They're going to arrest you anyway. You might as well make it easier on yourself. What are they going to do? There's a female here. Well, they're going to uh, probably take you and uh, book you and then cite you and release you. Right, because there's no, I don't see anybody here. As long as you don't resist the police and as long as you're peaceful, there shouldn't be anything that you should be charged with that would be that serious. Patchy, right. boo, I love you. Patchy. Patchy, come here. Patchy. Um, yeah, okay, one more. That's it. I'm kind of hold on to the rest. Uh oh, battery's getting low, folks. I'll get her. That's actually, it's okay. It's all good. I'll get back to you when I get in custody anyway. Anyway, my battery's running low, but I do have a backup. So I'm going to pull that out. Yeah, I don't know if I have the flu or if my ulcer ruptured, but I'd be sick as a yeah, If anybody's got any medical conditions, I would advise oh God, so that you go now. He's a bad chihuahua, man. He's crazy. Can I have a female? Female step forward, please. Any female? I got one. Thank you, man. Is that dog being around still? And now we're going to be, excuse me for a second here, I'm going to pull out a battery. Anyway, I'm pulling out a battery, folks, so excuse me for just a second. Down here at 101 Market Street in San Francisco. Police uh, moved in about 20 minutes ago. And uh, without a uh, order to disperse or anything, and uh, just basically told us we were all under arrest and that we weren't going to leave, that we couldn't leave. They didn't give us a chance to leave either if we wanted to leave, so we weren't allowed our freedom of movement. So basically anything you get arrested for or anything that happens here will probably be thrown out of court by tomorrow morning. So I got my battery here at the standby, so just in case I run out. I'm going to wait until the battery actually runs down to nothingness, you know. So anyway, the police are making arrests. They're taking uh, females into custody at the moment. <laughs> and uh, definitely not going to be aggressive today. Um, this is not a demonstration, so I can't be as aggressive on my reporting as I was. I want to try and back up here a little bit more, gentlemen, so I can keep getting this for our people out there. So if you clear a path for me. Well, I know I got policemen behind me, but that's okay. We are surrounded by the police. Just to let show everybody out here. Now you can actually see how many police are down here. Yeah, thanks, Kali Knight, for your love. Yes, uh, yeah, tell Vlad. Well, Vlad's in Madrid right now. But, uh, yeah, he, he probably want to know about this. Tell Jay uh, that I'm getting arrested, okay? He's, he's going to get a good laugh out of this, right? And he's the one He's oh, you get a press. You should need to go down and get your press pass, dude. And I'm like, yeah, you're right. But I just got back into town today, so. <coughs> Anyway, we've got plenty of uh, policemen for uh, company tonight at 101 Market, and uh, people are being taken into custody. Uh, their belongings have been so destroyed. Some of the people's stuff has absolutely been trashed. Uh, so when you're an occupier or a political protester, you need to go turn yourself in, dude. Right, do it now, and that way they can take care of you because you have special medical needs.
Anyway, when I was in New York, it wasn't anywhere near this heavy of a police presence. And interestingly enough, most police officers in New York don't carry batons. Uh, they don't. They don't work that way there. So they do wear ride helmets and, and uniforms and stuff like that. But um, I didn't see any batons ever being held in the hand of a New York City police officer. So, oh well. I guess there's always the first time. Anyway, Barb, thanks for putting the mayor's phone number out there. Please call the mayor's office and let them know that this is complete and utter bullshit. And it's not even legal, actually. And uh, I'm pretty sure that... Uh, I'm not a lawyer, but I've worked in courts a long time, and I'm pretty sure that all this stuff is not even going to see the light of day. And it's... Basically, most people will probably be given a piece of paper saying that they were held in custody. Because uh, there's not anything they can arrest you for that I can pick up. If you're sitting on the sidewalk... Uh, it's not technically illegal, especially me. I'm in a wheelchair, so I do know my uh, my legal rights, and I am allowed to park my wheelchair. I am disabled in the city of San Francisco legally. And whether they choose to take me in custody or not is uh, is pretty irrelevant, though, because uh, we know how, we know how police departments work, and uh, <clears throat> they're not lawyers, that's for sure. So. Yeah, we were kettled. Uh, we're being arrested basically for being here. So, and no, I'm not arrested just yet, uh, Mr. Sam again, but uh, could be. Yeah, I was down here by accident, actually. I was over at the Schroeder's restaurant. I got to talk about the, to the Democratic Club about Occupy and what they could do to help uh, with the struggle against the, the banksters. And... Uh, I came by here, I was like about three blocks from here, and uh, I was sitting here talking, having a nice peaceful conversation, and uh, and I just wanted to let everybody know down here that if they needed a lawyer and they got into trouble, that I would be able to help them out. <laughs> it's pretty ironic. So, but I don't think anybody here is going to be facing any serious charges, so we should be able to get out by the morning unless you have a warrant. But... One never knows how Mr. Ed Lee and his little mind works. But nobody resisted the police. One person did go limp when they were taken into custody, uh, but that's not a chargeable offense. And they did wait until 11 o'clock at night, and they didn't do it at 4 o'clock in the morning, so I guess they couldn't muster enough uh, officers at 4 in the morning to come down here. Or maybe they're trying to save the city, or trying to save the city some overtime. I'm gonna try to look around here and see if anybody's going on. Now we're just all about ready to go here. No, uh, uh, worth of the world, people are not being allowed to leave. Uh, we're getting arrested just for being here, and they're not letting anybody go, and they're arresting everybody, and they've got, on the other side here, uh, from where my camera's pointed, they have, uh, I think, six vans. I wasn't able to get a good number on it, but they're all waiting for us. This has evidently been in the works and planned for at least two to three days, but no order was given to disperse. So yeah, Courtney, it's pretty, pretty ridiculous situation. And uh, just to let you know out there that they managed to piss me off now. Right up until this point, um, I wasn't, I hadn't gotten angry or upset about anything that was going on, but I got to say now I'm like seriously mad. And. Uh, I don't like being this way, and I don't like being uh, angry, especially when my rights are being violated in such a way. So, yeah, keep it up there, Barb. Uh, they probably arrested about 30 people, maybe 35. High number, maybe 40. I'm not real sure because I didn't get a head count. I'd only been down here for about 10, 10 15 minutes, so I don't really know.
no, don't come here from the East Bay. It's, we're going to be gone. We'll be out of here about an hour or less. And there's about 60 to 80 cops here. So, yeah, don't, don't, uh, if you want to protest, call up uh, Mayor Ed Lee's office and leave a message and let them know that you're very unhappy with the way we're being treated down here. And somewhat illegally, as I might add, because um, we never really gave a pretext for being arrested other than people were down here uh, hanging out. And, uh, well, they have special laws for us down here at Occupy, down here at the Federal Reserve, because this is a uh, non-governmental institution. And, uh, you know, these people here in this building here, you know, they passed out $16 trillion to the banksters last year in free money. And uh, by uh, corporations and individuals that don't pay any income tax at all, and they don't even pay the police, police department salary. Um, and here I am sitting here paying police department salary with my taxes, and I do pay taxes, and I'm uh, getting arrested here. <laughs> so, quite the situation here. So the people that are going to be pilfering these fine police officers 401k plans here in the next couple of years uh, through their shitty investments and derivatives and all that other corporate casino uh, money uh, laundering uh, business that they do in uh, Wall Street. Uh, well, they don't even pay their taxes. So, pretty sad situation. And don't think because they have the, that the city of San Francisco pays the uh, pensions for the police force. Uh, that means nothing to the Wall Street banksters. Um, there are several police departments around the country that uh, had their uh, pension plans uh, drastically reduced. I wouldn't say that all their money was stolen, but a great deal of police officers have had their money taken. Their retirement plans have disappeared through uh, bad corporate investments by the banksters. So do be aware of that. And if you're a police officer and you're out there watching, I thought I'd pass that information out there to you too. Is you better go home and check your 401k plan because uh, in this day and age, when banks are uh, bank, you know it's funny. You know we went through the uh, all this thing with bank robbers, and there's all this all this information about bank robberies, and the banksters are actually the ones that are the real crooks. Anyway, they're getting closer and closer, and I'm only going to be able to live stream here for maybe a few more minutes. So uh, do let everybody know what happened. And we're right on the scene here at 101 Market through a moment of serendipity, basically, because I, hadn't, I didn't even plan on coming down here this evening. But uh, since I was around the corner, I thought I'd just drop in and say hi. Guilt, guilt by association. And you guys can best bet that by Monday morning of next week, I will be filing a lawsuit against the police department. I heard that that's exactly what I was thinking. I'm definitely going for it. I got plenty of lawyers, so this is bullshit. I got evidence right now. And, uh, oh, great, man. Another payday from the city of San Francisco. Thanks, Sam. Yeah, I know it's okay for streaming. I'm just glad I came down here and had the, uh, and I'm loaded. You know, I don't ever go anywhere anymore without my live stream equipment because of, uh, when I was in New York, uh, there was a lady getting beaten up by these two dudes, and I just happened to be there. It was on Broadway in Manhattan, and uh, by me being there with just my camera, it was enough to run the two guys off, and I'm in a wheelchair, so uh, that lets you know how the power of live streaming. And when they knew that I was taking their picture, uh, they backed off, and they weren't going to attack me because... I had a couple of people behind me. It just wasn't going to happen. Okay? It was not that kind of situation. 
there's it's new york and manhattan there's hella people on the street all the time so at any rate more shenanigans from the city of san francisco Anyway, people are getting arrested right behind me. I think I'm next. So I'll have to shut off my phone here in a minute. Who's next? Who wants to go? Come on. Thank you. Turn around. Put your hands on your back. Walk backwards. Walk back out. Yeah, this officer here, he's got a, a what looks to be a bean bag round. He's got like three of them. Usually uh, you know, in San Francisco, I've been living here for a long time, and they've only recently got this equipment, next? maybe in the last couple of years. All right, come on, you want to go or just go? Come on. Yeah, yeah. Right. Hey, everybody, uh, people watching say they love the, the occupiers down here. So, yeah, FTP, you got that right, Taylor. But uh, there's no reason to go hating on the cops because uh, they're just following orders. So, you know, if you want to hate anybody, which I don't advocate hating anybody at all, ever, anyways. But if you want to find the people responsible, uh, the orders pretty much, I could pretty much tell you they came from the mayor's office. And so call up Mayor Ed Lee and let him know how you feel about people getting arrested. This is a peaceful protest. Um, there's no violence down here. You know, people have their belongings, but... Um, it's not like people got, you know, it's not like there's not any tents out here. Uh, there's not, I mean, basically you could almost not even tell that there was anybody out here even for the most part other than just some stuff. Now I'm going to try to stay as long as I can. No, it's okay. I don't mind. You know, it's part of being an activist and being a live streamer and uh, trying to bring you the uh, information. Um, I do have attorneys and stuff, so um, I'll be all right. Now yeah, keep spreading that number, 415-554-6141. That's the number to have Lee's office. Um, you could also call the police department. I don't see what good will do you, but that's 553-0123. Or code 415. So, this is what it's like to live in a police state in the United States of America. Yeah, I'll put it'll be alright. I'll turn it off. No. You can't say anyway, I think I'm probably going to be next. There's like one or two people. So I'm going to have to go shut the phone down here for you folks. And, uh... I'll let you know what's up as soon as uh, I know when I'm released out of custody. So this is Freeman Sullivan. Uh, please tweet my name out there. It's Freeman, M-A-N, Sullivan, S-U-L-L-I-V-A-N. And uh, tweet it out there so everybody knows what happened down here at 101 Market Street at approximately 10 to 11 p.m. So uh, I'll be with you shortly.